Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So, resisting peating, I think it's an absolutely awesome thing. And as some of you guys might know, I did a painted heater with our conductive ink a couple days, well, a little while ago now. And on the secondary channel, I did a tear down on the electric heater just to get me used to the idea of resistive heating. So, this is what resistive heating is in its essence. So as you can see, the current flows through and it's resistive, and you can think of it as rubbing your hands together. If you rub your hands together, it's going to get warm because there's a resistance there. And that's sort of what it is in its essence. So the idea of this video is to use our conductive ink to create a resistive heater for our cup. So how we're going to, going to do this is pretty much the same way as we did with the painted heater that we did a little while ago. So we're going to have a copper strip at the top, a copper strip at the bottom, but something that's going to be slightly different is to have the contacts on the bottom, the very bottom of the cup, and to have something called a warming plate, which is basically a little plate with two connectors on it. I can put my cup down on it and then it starts to heat up. And then once I'm done, I can take it off, my coffee's warm, and there's going to be no current actually flowing through this. So it's going to work as a charger, if you will, um, is probably the easiest way I can explain that. So the first thing that I need to do is go find a cup, because this is my personal cup and I'm definitely not going to be using this. So find a cup, add our copper strips, paint our ink on, and actually create that warming plate or the charging plate or whatever you want to call it. So let's do it. So, this is what the cup looks like with the copper on it. And this is what it looks like when it's painted. And this is actually looking really nice. But before I actually painted this, I had, to, I had to think about a few things. And one of them things was the contacts. I needed to make sure that they had sufficient space in between the contacts because you don't want them to short, you don't want them to accidentally put them on the wrong way, especially if they're really close. And another thing that I actually had to think about was this space at the top. So initially I had the copper quite high up and then it occurred to me, well, you're going to be sipping your drink and you're going to get copper in your mouth. So I brought that down a sufficient amount of space so I can actually get my lips around it to take a drink. So the next thing that we actually have to think about is our heating plate or our charging station, whatever you want to call it. And this is what it looks like. So right here are the marks for the registration of the cup handle. So that means I'll be able to put it in place every single time without fail. And right here I've marked out where the contacts are going to be as well. So there's positive and negative. So what I've actually got to do now is try and find something a little bit springy that I can push through and have it connected up to the positive and negative. Therefore, when I put the cup down in its registration, it should automatically start to heat the thing up. And as I take it off, it will start to cool down. So I'm going to ponder that for a little bit and I'll come back when I'm done. So I've actually figured out how I'm going to get this warming plate to work. So what I've done is I've actually marked out exactly where the cup needs to sit, including the handle, and I managed to salvage some of these. These are little springs off an old AA battery box. I basically took two of them out so I can feed them through the bottom, like so, and the cup will just sit straight onto them. So now we know actually how we're gonna do this, let's crack on. And there we go, that is our warming plate completely made. And if we set this to ohms, put our cup on it, straight away we get a nice resistance reading. That is awesome. So let's actually plug this in and see if it heats up. So now we've actually got a resistance reading. It's time to actually try this. So I've got a glass full of water. I'm just going to stick it on my warmer and turn up the voltage. Also, by the way, it is currently 11 degrees Celsius in ambient temperature. And would you take a look at that? It's got up to temperature. So if I take a look ski, the liquid is around 50 degrees Celsius. How awesome is that? And there we go, that is my amazing coffee keeper completely done using a bit of copper and our ink which is available on our store if you want to. But with that being said, that does bring me to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you later.